Hello, I am Arshim Manavar, and today I have with me Dr. Sakan Karana, who is a renowned entrepreneur, mentor, public speaker, and scientist. Most welcome, sir. Thank you, Arshim. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much, sir. So uh, let's discuss about the topic of today's session. It is about head tilt. So what do you think, according to you, what according to you does a head tilt mean uh, in a body language? Uh, uh, thanks for asking this. See, body language or non-verbal cues are more than 90% of communication time. So I think being in sync with um, knowing what particular body language means independently and also in context. Um, sometimes an individual body language cue should not be just seen in isolation. Like this is a nervous thing, but I could still also be having an itch. Okay. This is a thing of hiding that I'm trying to hide or block you by doing this, like keeping a distance, but I could also still maybe having a bad habit of chewing my nails and doing it. So not everything should be seen um, um, in independence, but head tilt is a very common thing. See, um, head tilt to one side, exposing the neck is a sign of openness. Your neck is one of the most vulnerable areas. Neck skin is much thinner and requires protection. And exposing your neck and throat opens you up. Uh, it's in um, sort of animal kingdom, almost the way when uh, people do it with their own grub, right? They know they will not be attacked. Uh, in some cases, it can even be seen as a sign of submission. But either way, it's a friendly sign. There can be hierarchy involved, there need not be hierarchy involved. Um, but uh, often, um, uh, there is um, in the non romantic context, in the professional context, it does reflect sort of just opening up, right? Um, so there is also, as I mentioned, there is hierarchy and there is also gender thing. Um, so head tilt more often with women, also with men, is seen when they're attracted to somebody, uh, not necessarily even in romantic sense, even in platonic sense, you'll see uh, this like, you know, or this pose. If you look at paintings, uh, classical European paintings, but in a professional setting, let's say, uh, I like one's idea, the two men um, sitting, and I might even be inclined to sort of look at this, ah, that's interesting, rather than just in a stiff manner. The, everyone also has their basal body language. Uh, I tend to, I guess, um, not move as much as a lot of other people. I go from either uh, very upright to being on a couch mode. So I have sort of two state transitions, several people have hundreds. Uh, but, uh, you know, so it can reflect openness. Uh, but, you know, if you look at uh, classical paintings, as I said, there are uh, women doing it more often, actually three times more often. But head tilt is a very nice cue in a professional setting, not just a personal setting of you know, any kind of romantic, non-romantic relations, head tilt is a way that your sales pitch is going well, right? Your meeting is going well. So you're basically telling uh, something to people and the audience suddenly is having head tilt. Uh, they're buying into your thing, whether you're selling them Kool-Aid, uh, it's an honest proposal or something wonderful, or it is bullshit, but they're buying into it. That's one of the things that you can charge. And um, if you are, a uh, bit old in terms of mentoring people like uh, when I was a professor, we did citizen science with slightly over 4,000, somewhat under 5,000 people having worked with me. And uh, later as an entrepreneur, similar numbers, I've trained and interacted with a lot of them in one -to -one ba on a one-to-one -one basis, uh, whether it's US international hires uh, while being in US or international hires while being in India. I guess I have maybe intuitively picked on it, and it also depends on your extroversion or introversion, whether you pick up on people's cues or you don't pick up on people's cues. But uh, you asked a one important thing you said in opinion. It's not necessarily my opinion, it's something I also read. It's not like I formed this opinion based on my own research. Several things in my life which are based on my own research, which are published in top journals, but this is something you can find on it. It's a very well-established body language thing, but 
when I look at crowd, I'm not necessarily counting in uh, these things like head tilt or, or are they smiling generally? I think it occurs naturally. So for me, understanding body language has become intuitive. I don't have to break it down. But that said, I have, you know, decades of experience. So maybe for somebody who's new, um, trying to be a fresher in a world of sharks, right, is a new fish in the pond. Uh, they may want to study these body language cues, including head tilt of their client, of their seniors, of their juniors, um, and use you know, for their career, further their career. Yeah, all right. Thank you so much, sir. That was interesting uh, to know. Uh, thank you, Arshin. All right. So anyone interested to be a part of free training and live projects at Iron Cure should send their resumes at volunteer at the rate ironcurerx.com.